friends, it's Em, and welcome back to Em's Storytime. Today, I have a really special story that I'm so excited to share with you, and it is this one, and it's called The Box Turtle. Would you like to read it with me? Come on. The Box Turtle by Vanessa Roder. When the little box turtle hatched, his parents noticed something missing. Oh me! Oh my! But they weren't dismayed. They gave him a name and a shell, both of which fit just right. Now remember, Terence, you are so much more than just your shell. There's Terence. There's his dad. And there's his mummy. Terence's shell kept him dry on the soggiest days safe from the snoopiest strangers and on the scariest nights. It was big enough to share. Terence loved his shell. Look at Terence sharing his shell with his little crab friend. <laughs> Until one day, your shell is weird. Oh no, look at poor little Terence's face. He is very sad, isn't he? Can you make a sad face like Terence? Poor Terence. Suddenly, Terence's shell seemed too boring, too bizarre, and too big for the little box turtle to bear. So he abandoned it to search for something better. <gasps> there goes Terence, leaving his box shell behind. Poor Terence. <clears throat> Terence searched high and low until, <gasps> wowee, said Terence. His new shell looked sleek. Look at Terence's new shell and look at his beautiful smile. I think he's very excited, don't you? Eek! But it showed too much cheek. <gasps> Poor Terence. So the search continued. <gasps> Ooh la la, says Terence. <gasps> Look, he's found a new shell. He looked classy. He looked sassy. And he looked just like Grandma Mildred. <gasps> Oh no! Look at what Grandma Mildred is wearing. And look at what Terence is wearing. They're wearing the same thing. What do you think Terence will do? He looked for another shell. <clears throat> look, there's Terence looking for a new shell. Oh yeah, he found it. A perfect polka dotty package. Look at him with his new shell. Do you know what kind of box this is? Let's have a look. <gasps> Pop! <gasps> that was positively petrifying. Poor Terence, look at his face. That is too scary. I think Terence must have gotten a big fright from that, wouldn't you? Terence tried shell after shell after shell after shell but nothing fit. Look, he has a boom box or a stereo saying boom, 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 boom. Too loud, I think. He tried oh, a lunchbox. But this little girl says, hey, that's my lunch. <laughs> He tried a plant box with all the flowers, but the bees are buzz, buzz, buzzing around. And he tried a treasure chest. But look, pirates, Arr, they say. I still don't think Terence has found the right shell, has he? Better keep looking. 
This whole situation stunk a lot, said Terence. Oh no! What's Terence trying now? The cat litter box? <gasps> That's not a good shell. <laughs> That's it! I give up, said Terence. Poor Terence. Not very happy, is he? Here you go. Plop. What did the little crab do? Oh, oh wow, said Terence. In that moment, the little hermit crab showed what it meant to be a friend. Look, the little hermit crab gave its shell to Terence. The little crustacean was so much more than just a shell. And maybe Terence was too. Terence knew what he needed. Look, Terence gave the little hermit crab back his shell. And look at what he's thinking. He's remembering when his parents gave him his special shell. When he made friends with the little hermit crab. When he shared his box at night with the little hermit crab. I wonder what he's thinking. But when he found his old shell. Oh no. Look at Terence's little face. And look at Terence's box. It had changed. It's okay, said the little hermit crab. We can fix it. And look, he's got a little band-aid, all ready to fix Terence's shell. Terence patched on soggy days, patching up the box. He toiled on chilly nights. <gasps> look, fixing up the box. Working very hard. The task grew big enough to share. Everyone's helping out now, even Terence's mum and dad. Finally, the shell was finished. <gasps> Look at Terence's shell. Oh, wow. Doesn't it look great? Oh. And the little crustacean has the band-aid box as his shell. And the raccoon has the little hat. Everyone's looking very fancy. It wasn't sleek or sassy. It was far from perfect and definitely weird. Oh no, those other turtles are being really mean again, aren't they? But Terence wasn't dismayed because this little box turtle was so much more than just his shell. Look at this big, beautiful love heart on Terence's shell. And it says, the end. Wasn't that such a beautiful story about how Terence was so much more than just his shell? It was about his friends and all the people that loved him and how beautiful he was on the inside. And that is really special and really important to remember. Don't you think? Well, now we've finished our story, we get to sing our song. Are you ready? Here we go. Thank you, thank you for being here today. Thank you, thank you, and have a nice day. Mwah! Thank you, my friends. I will see you next time. Goodbye.